Hi guys, this is Sajid and I am back with another video. And today we're gonna study multi-dimensional arrays. In our last video we have seen Java arrays. And uh, if you have not seen that video, just go back to last video and uh, learn what the arrays are because if you don't know arrays you won't understand this chapter so here we're gonna study multi-dimensional arrays so what are these so guys a multi-dimensional array is an array of arrays so it means we have an array and inside it we have other arrays so here you can see uh, we have two dimensional array here like you have multi-dimensional arrays so uh, here we have two dimensional array example in which is uh, based on integers and to indicate two dimensions we have two square uh, two sets of square brackets right so then we have curly braces and uh, this indicates your uh, you can say the main array and each element its side inside this one is one element this was this is second element and these are the these are the elements of the first array but these themselves are arrays so that's why a multi-dimensional array is an array of arrays okay guys so we have seen in previous video for arrays to access the elements in the arrays we use something called index numbers and as we know in one array it starts with uh, zero and then first element is zero index second one is first second third and so on and so on so in this example we will see how to access uh, um, elements in two dimensional arrays so let's have a look so guys here we have our this beautiful um, array here which has uh, which is two dimensional and it's got two elements uh, or two two you can say sub arrays and each uh, array in, in one array we have four elements in one we have three element so as we know the first one uh, to access the number for example to access number seven this how we will do indexing for this as you know the first element in the main array is zero then we have this element as one so first element is one and then we need to accept second element in the array which is at index 1 in the main array so second one will be 0 1 and 2 7 so 7 will be the answer so now if I change it here you can see the answer is there now if I change it to for example if I want to send it to 6 it will be 1 1 so let's try and run our code and see the result so guys our program is executing <clears throat> so see the answer is one right so if we want to access something in this uh, first array uh, we need to change index to zero and zero one it answer will be two so let's see guys so I hope you understand this concept how to um, access elements in two dimensional arrays similarly you can have three dimensional arrays and even more but that will be very complicated to handle anyways you understand the concept next let's look at our chapter we have another example here in this example we can see that we will use for loops to access two dimensional array elements in two dimensional array and print them okay guys so as you know like for loop we have learned the for loop in one previous video and this is very common practice to use two for loops or we can say sort of nested for loops 
this uh, uh, for loops to um, access two dimensional arrays this is very normal and uh, let's look at our example here see here we have one two dimensional array with uh, has elements one two three four and then five six seven and this is our outer for loop which starts with zero and it will go up to it will go up to the full length of the array and um, as you know my numbers dot length this property we have studied in previous uh, chapter uh, or video where we studied arrays there so my numbers dot length will give you the length of the array so so outer for loop is actually uh, will be covering the index of the main outer array they say we have two uh, arrays inside the main array so it will be giving index for the outer array and then to access the elements inside uh, the inner arrays we have another for loop which starts with j is equal to zero and again we have um, its length num my numbers I mean because now you know this is interesting my numbers you are accessing the array within the main array so to know the length of that particular array you need to give in first index of that array which is inside the main array like this and then the length then you can know the length of that array that's right i hope you understand this and then you have these increments here so here system dot out dot print line what it will do it will be printing uh, 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 these uh, uh, two dimensional array here and uh, how because now when we have i and j this will be doing what this will be uh, giving uh, it, it will be like you can say uh, iterating or passing through all the elements in this two dimensional array so if we can if we increase the um, let's say I make it here I make like uh, 8 and here I write 9 so okay I hope I didn't make any mistake right so let's run this code see here 1 2 3 4 8 5 6 7 9 so these two for loops are getting us to this two dimension array and printing all the elements in this array right i hope this you understand this concept and uh, at this point we uh, finish our video this was all about two dimensional arrays i hope the video um, has been like uh, informative for you you learned something from it so if you have any question you can ask me in the comments i'll try my best to get back to you so take care bye bye till the time i come back with another video and uh, i hope you are enjoying this java series with me so you can give your suggestions for the improvement so I'll, i'm ready to listen to that so that we can improve this course okay take care bye bye i'll be back take care bye